I will be talking about what is a trading edge, how to get positive expectancy, and what is positive expectancy to begin with. So welcome back to a new video and having an edge obviously is very important and trading with positive ex expectancy is the key to making money long term and there are a few pitfalls and a few things that I need to, that you need to know in order to um, trade positively over the long term and I try to make this as easy as possible for those who don't know too much about uh, math so when people uh, tr uh, talk about a trading system performance usually they talk about um, a positive expectancy and which basically means that over the long term your trading system is going to make money when you look at your reward to risk ratio and your win rate. Um, a mistake that many traders make is that they look at win rate or reward to risk ratio separately but you cannot really talk about um, expectancy or you cannot really analyze the, the quality of a trading system if you look at the both if, if you look at both statistics um, separately you really have to put them in context together only then can you really judge a, a, a trading system because well even a trading system with a 90% win rate does not automatically make you money if your losing trades are way 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 bigger than your than your winning trades so even a high win rate does not automatically mean that you're going to make money that's very very important and once traders understand that a low win rate um, can also be profitable over the long term, then many traders will have suddenly an aha moment where they realize, okay, I don't really need to chase those um, absurd win rates. I don't need to try to perfect um, my trading system to get to 80 or 90% win rate. This is not realistic. And also, more importantly, it's not necessarily. And when we look at... Um, when we look at expectancy, there is um, a, a formula. And the only two things that we need is reward to risk ratio um, and also win rate. So those are the most important met uh, metrics that a trader needs to, to know about his system. And you need to put them into context with and or, or together. And when we look at um, at a at positive as expectancy, this is the formula. It looks much much more complicated than it actually is. So don't don't get discouraged. Um, this is going to be very very simple. And you only need two um, two two metrics. Obviously, as I said, is the win rate, and it's your reward to risk ratio. The loss rate is obviously just the uh, the opposite. Of your win rate. So let's take a look at, at a few examples. So let's assume we have a trading system where the win rate is 50% and your reward to risk ratio is 2 to 1. So what this means is obviously that half of your trades you win, half of your trades, half of your trades you lose. And if you win a trade, you make 2R or you make twice as much as you have risk. So this is the, uh, the basic premise of the system. And then we can just um, insert it for whatever is uh, for this, um, for this uh, formula. So we have 0 0.5 and, um, times 2. Then we, we should have put a bracket around it just to make it more obvious, obviously. Uh, and then we have, on the other hand, we have your, the opposite um, of the, the win rate, which in this case is also um, 0 0.5. And if you lose a trade, you lose one R, obviously. And this will give you an expectancy of 0 0.5. Um, what this means is that at least, or the, the first, the most important thing is that, whoops, you're starting with a with a positive uh, number. So your, your expectancy needs to be higher than zero. That is the most important thing. If your win rate is, or if your expectancy is higher than zero, this is already a good starting point. The closer your expectancy is to zero, do the harder it is to trade profitably. Why? We will take a look at it in a moment. But um, this is this is um, how you can calculate any expectancy for any trading system. And this is a very, very good way to judge a trading system. It's also a great way of just understanding how we watch risk ratio and win rate work together. So let's take a look at um, another system where let's say you have a win rate of 0.5% or 50% actually, and you make one R and you have a reward to risk ratio of one to one. So if you win a trade, you make one R and if you lose a trade, 
you lose um, one R. So this, in this example, obviously your expectancy is going to be zero. In such a system, you should not be trading because you will not make any money. And if you look at fees and other um, errors that you will uh, make in your trading, then you will end up with a um, you know, with a losing system. So very, very important to understand that. Um, and this is how you can calculate expectancy for any system and for any um, yeah for any trading strategy. And this is a very good way to just judge your trading system. And let's take a look at why it is so important to have a uh, an expectancy of higher than zero, and why having a system that is close to zero is is very very difficult. So let's take a look at a few possible trading scenarios. And let's uh, say we have a a, a winning or we have a trade sequence where we have two losing trades. Then let's say we had a losing streak of a losing streak of three trades. Then we have a win and we have a loss and finally another win. So you can see in this example we have um, four losing trades, four winning trades, and overall a win rate of 50%. So let's take a look at a few possible scenarios. Let's say we start with a system that has a reward to risk ratio of two. So if we win a trade, we make two we make two. If we lose a trade, we lose um, one. Then we lose another one and we lose one more. Then we have a winner, a loser, whoops, and another winner. So this is the, the sequence from the first um, system where we have a two to one reward to risk ratio. Let's take a look at another one where we have a reward to risk ratio of 1.5. 1.5 when we win. This is uh, two possible scenarios, obviously. Um, you can um, look at many, many more. And then we take a look at the final outcome. So in this case, we have plus 4R. Um, when you sum, uh, sum up all the, the, the wins and losses, that's what you get. And then here, when you look at this, you have an outcome of 2R. So although both are positive and both are well above zero, um, there is a very, very big difference between the two. Because let's take a look. At, for example, let's take a look at the first five trades. Um, so let's take a look at the first five trades, which end here. So how does how do they uh, perform? Here on the first one, we have um, two winning trades, three losing trades. So here we have a performance of plus one, and then here we have a expectancy or we have a total performance of zero, and. This already shows you that although both would have been performing positively over the long term, over the short term, the, the closer your expectancy is um, to zero, the harder it will be for you to trade those systems profitably because, well, um, emotional issues will quickly arise. There will be times when you won't be able to capture your full 1.5. Sometimes you will just get one um, because you close your trade out early. Sometimes you won't hit a one R because you let your loss run, then you might end up taking a larger loss of 1.5. And then quickly, zero turns into minus one, uh, one turns into zero. And then at the end, everything will look very, very differently. Um, and even a positively expecting um, trading system, if you factor in the human component, emotional errors, just executional errors, um, you will quickly um, experience issues. And that is why, why it's so important to first know the expectancy, to know how win rate and reward r r risk ratio interact, and also um, to have a system where you try, it's very hard obviously, and it's not as simple, but where you look for a system that has a high, um, high expectancy. And this is again where another point comes in. Obviously you have two parts, you have your reward to risk ratio and you have your win rate. Those things, they determine your expectancy. Obviously, you have only limited influence over each one. You can not directly impact your reward to risk ratio um, or you cannot directly import your impact your win rate as well. Impacting the win rate is even harder than impacting the reward to risk ratio. For the reward to risk ratio, you can just extend your take profit um, or you can use a smaller um, stop loss Then in both cases your reward to risk ratio will go up. Um, obviously, if you have a larger um, take profit order, what, met, uh, what happens is that your holding time will go up as well. Um, and if your reward, uh, if your stop loss um, will be tightened, 
then what happens is all often that the win rate will go down because the price has an easier time of reaching your stop loss when it's tighter. So having a higher take profit or a smaller stop loss will both um, mathematically lead to a higher reward to risk ratio, but they also have downfalls and there is always a con attached to it. So you cannot just look at um, things separately, you need to look into it um, holistically. So you need to understand and, and ask yourself, okay, what is the premise of my system? And more importantly, how do I feel as a trader? Can I trade a system with a, with a larger take profit area where uh, my holding time will increase a lot and I will be holding my trades much, much longer? Or can I trade emotionally a system with a smaller take profit where the price will hit my um, stop loss more often and my win rate may go down a bit just to um, potentially have a higher reward to risk ratio. Those are the things that you need to ask yourself when you design a trading system. And those are the things that you really can have influence over to some degree, obviously not total control, but this is a starting point. And this is then how you can put things together and um, how you um, just ex um, understand having an edge having positive expectancy and what all those things mean uh, in, a, in a better way, hopefully. And if this helps, let me know in the comment below. If this didn't make sense at all, also let me know in the comments below so that I can try and explain in a different um, way in the next video.